Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. I wanted to welcome you today because uh, we're going to do a segment on self-protection, but not self-protection with Kyushu per se in a martial art aspect, but uh, financial self-protection. And there's a, a new paradigm that's happening around the world, and I've discussed this a couple times on prior films and in other blogs, but um, there's a financial reset coming, and uh, there's something called Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies, and it's taking the world by storm. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a financial reset. The world is um, structured with uh, complete debt, and uh, all our money is based on debt, all our uh, governments are based on debt, and there's one thing um, that can protect you, and that's non-debt-based instruments, uh, gold and silver for one, but they manipulate those too much because if they didn't, they'd show you the real value of the currency you hold in your wallet, whether it be a euro, a yen, a dollar, it doesn't matter, um, they're worthless, um, they're backed up only by your government promises and we all know what that's like so uh, the cryptocurrencies are taking storm um, this year alone 2017 in January for example um, the market cap of all the cryptocurrencies went from 14 billion to uh, right now this is December uh, 13th and it's at um, over a half a trillion dollars and next year it will be over now this year we had uh, at least 10 times growth. I'm talking uh, major uh, increases in prices. Uh, Bitcoin holdings, for example, uh, at the beginning of the year were around a thousand. Now they're around 17,000. So um, this is because uh, the people are wising up. They understand that their dollar value or their currency values are going down. The governments are taxing them. They're out of control with their debt. They don't know what they're doing. They're setting um, negative interest rates and every other stupid thing they can think of to try to keep a patch on this uh, global economy and keep it from exploding and blowing up and um, hurting a lot of people. Income the cryptocurrencies invented in uh, 2009 with Bitcoin. I'm not going to get into how it was developed or what it is or anything like that. This uh, episode is going to be on uh, protecting yourself further. You can go on to Coinbase and at the bottom I will have a link to the Coinbase uh, uh, website so you can go and you can um, start an account it's free to start an account if you put in a um, hundred dollars um, of um, money you can get a um, hundred dollars worth of cryptocurrency whether it be Bitcoin Litecoin or Ethereum um, I recommend Litecoin but um, you pick your your um, uh, position you can buy any portion a hundred dollars will do it and uh, that will give you an extra ten dollars in that account worth of whatever um, cryptocurrency that you pick but what I'm going to talk to you today is protecting it um, protecting it if you leave it on the exchanges like coinbase or Kraken or there's many of them there's uh, tons of them actually and you can buy them uh, all around the world if you leave them on the uh, exchanges, they're um, up for um, uh, potential threats. Uh, the, the websites like Coinbase can go down temporarily for a while because there's so many people um, joining up. There's millions of people a year joining uh, and getting on the crypto bandwagon. And we're just at the beginning, so it's going to get worse with these exchanges that can't handle the volume and they have to shut down temporarily. But um, I'm going to show you how to get your cryptocurrencies uh, offline so you can have them protected and held in your own hand instead of another uh, party. Now, um, there was a, a thing a while back, an exchange called Mt. Gox, and um, it went down. And because Mt. Gox was basically a fraud, they didn't have the Bitcoins um, that they were selling. And what they would hopefully do is buy a Bitcoin as more money came in and then pass it out to people that wanted to take it off the exchange. Um, so it, it, you can hack a, uh, an exchange. You can't hack Bitcoin. You can't hack the other um, coins like Litecoin. So um, I'm going to show you how to get these off in a paper wallet so you can have them in your hand uh, or on a hard drive or a hard wallet. Now I prefer the paper wallets because the paper wallets, um, if you have a hard wallet, let's go back to that, the hard wallet. It's a little thumb drive, uh, you can get a Nano S or um, a 
ledger, uh, hard drive or that you can store these things on. Now, that's where those things are locked up. Now, that to me is a problem because if you keep it in your home a safe, for example, or you keep it um, in a safe deposit box, and the safe deposit box gets jacked by the U.S. government, which they have the right and they uh, tell you that um, to do, or say you got it in a safe at home or a safe place at home, uh, and your house burns down, okay, that could be a definite, definite problem. So um, what we want to do is show you how to get it on a paper wall. Now a paper wall, yeah, it can burn in a fire too. However, you can encrypt them so they're safe, so nobody can read your keys. And I'll show you all that in a second and how to do that and what that means. But um, not only can you uh, protect that, uh, but you can copy it. So I can have a copy of that paper wallet encrypted so if someone did find it like a thief, um, they couldn't do anything with it because they couldn't crack the encryption. But I can have one in my safe at home, I can have one in a safe in storage area, I can have one in a safe in um, a family member's house. You can have them in many different locations. And you can even take, take a picture of it and keep it on your phone. And that way, if you go overseas, uh, you've got your, your money. Um, if you travel overseas now with um, uh, money, uh, you can get in trouble if it's over $10,000. But uh, if you have a paper wallet, there's no um, amount that you can't put on there. You could put a million, ten million, a hundred million dollars worth of Bitcoin on a paper wallet. And um, it's very hard to <laughs> find a paper wallet, number one. But even if, if they do, it's encrypted. And um, all you have to do is conveniently forget the code uh, when they ask you. And then you don't worry about it. They'll keep your, um, your paper wallet there. But when you get home again, uh, you got another version uh, in your safe or your family member's house or your backyard buried in a coffee can. Um, so uh, let's um, continue on with this discussion as we take a look on how to make a paper wallet. I'm going to show you on um, three different um, uh, platforms. Uh, I have these paper wallets that I'm going to develop. I'm not going to use. This is just for demonstration only. So if you copied the keys on this video, it's not going to do you any good because they are empty wallets. And if you do co copy that code, I don't suggest you put on any uh, money because uh, they're, they're someone else in the audience that might have had the same idea so uh, let's get to that and I'll see you in a second okay here we are at um, lightaddress.org um, this is for Litecoin only and this is how to generate a paper wallet my arrow is right up here right now but it doesn't really matter what I need to do is generate a random uh, set of characters as I drop this mouse down you'll see that the, the character starts scrolling when I stop it stops scrolling so you want to keep the mouse moving and this just adds to the um, the randomness you can shoot across you could do a lot of different things until it makes your wallet now this wallet here this isn't going to be your wallet you want to do uh, something if you're going to print it out and keep a paper wallet and you should read all of this by the way too um, is I'm going to go up here to a paper wallet there's many different kind of wallets I don't recommend a brain wallet because anything can happen you can forget your code and then you can forget uh, ever getting your money back so let's go to the paper wallet now what happens is I have it set to generate um, three addresses and I like to do um, a page of three because um, I like to have some extra on hand so if I want to sweep another one I don't have to go through this whole process that we just went through now these are really not secure right now uh, what I need to do is I need to encrypt them. But before I do that, let's go down here and take a look at this, at, uh, the different codes we have. Um, we have what's called the public address or your Litecoin address. This address right here, the, this string of numbers and letters here, this is what you want to send your um, Litecoin to. And this is where you could give this address to other people to send Litecoin to you as well. Um, this is this code right in through here. So when you want to get this, the, the, the funds back onto um, uh, a wallet, uh, you, you would do it on your phone or um, via uh, uh, a website um, like Coinbase. But what we would do is you just scan this on your phone and the, the money that was put on here or the um, 
digital asset that was put on here it jumps right to your phone or your um, Coinbase wallet on a, a PC or a wallet from Kraken or wherever you have it from. Uh, I like a couple different ones and I can explain that in another video. Now this one over here is your private key. Okay. Now private key is just that. It's private. You don't let anybody see this because if someone has this, they can take this whole amount that's on here and they can obtain it or scan this and they could obtain it. Now that's why we need to encrypt it. So what we're going to do is we're going to encrypt these. So even if they found this piece of paper and had your private key, unless they have the passphrase you're going to generate, they're not going to be able to get the funds that are in here. Now we want to encrypt this. So we're going to click encrypt and then you're going to type in your passphrase, whatever that is, that may be. Okay, I don't suggest any spaces here. My finger just hit that. So you would just do uh, letters and numbers in a random succession, however many you want, as long as you can remember this. Now this should be something you remember. Okay, you're not going to remember a string of numbers like this, especially under stress. Say you went through a, um, a house fire or something. You need to have something um, that you could really uh, understand a little bit easier or, or memorize. And maybe it could be whatever you want it to be. Um, and then you just have this. Now, if someone finds this, they'll never be able to get the, um, the money that's on here unless they know this passphrase too. Now, what we're going to do from here is we just press print and you'll see this page comes up now when you get this page all you do is you go to your phone or your um, say coinbase wallet uh, online and scan or send your uh, funds to this address and automatically it goes now we can also go and find um, let me get to a uh, the website here and then uh, let's see here let's take a look on how to do this here if we go over here that's the Bitcoin one and sorry wrong bookmark if we go to this one here and let me see verify you can go um, Litecoin verify and you can verify this uh, we will open it in another tab you can take this number here okay copy that okay we can come over to this Litecoin uh, Explorer and just type in the address here, okay, and look it up, and it will tell you um, what the transaction did, when it came in, when it was uh, verified. Like this one, for example, came in a minute ago, um, and there was 22 Litecoin, 22,000 Litecoin. Oh, good for him. Um, the total fees cost them. Whoa just this much um, Litecoin which is absolutely a quarter of a Litecoin uh, perhaps maybe um, and it was uh, this size and it was sent and it's verified so all of these are um, verified so the money is there okay so this is all all you have to do now you would print this off now I'm just going to cancel out of that you need to remember this now each one of these say I put on a Bitcoin on each one uh, excuse me a Litecoin on each one of these um, I would load it up I would put it in a safe but before I put it in a safe I would make an extra copy whether it be on a, a thumb drive uh, in PDF format uh, or I just printed off or copied this after I uh, printed it out I could make another copy and that way I could put one copy in my house, one copy in a storage area, one copy in a, um, a child's home, one of my children's homes. Uh, you could bury it out in the backyard, whatever you want. So if there was a house fire or a tragedy, you had to move or whatever, you could get to your money anyway. It can't be lost if you plan ahead. So that's how you do a Litecoin paper wallet. Very easy. They print out very quickly. Um, as you saw, you can do this by going to bitaddress.org and then again generate um, uh, randomness by putting the, the mouse wherever you want to go and just making this until it uh, comes 95% or 100%. It'll automatically pop. You make your paper wallet. Um, you generate three to a page maybe. You can do one, two. Uh, it doesn't matter. You could do a single wallet. Uh, I like the paper wallets myself. Uh, encrypt it, make up your passphrase, 
Let's see. Pass raise. Make sure you do something that's going to be a little difficult for people to um, uh, decipher with numbers and letters. You can even capitalize. You know, you do little things like this that will make it a stronger passcode that you are going to remember. And uh, again, we would go to print these out. And as you go to print them out, you'll see that they come up on the page. You can cut them. You can do whatever you want. Again, after you do that, you might want to copy it or make this a PDF file and put it on a thumb drive. It's uh, a very safe way to go. Now, this is for Bitcoin. This one was for the Litecoin. For Ether um, tokens, um, it's a, a little bit different. Now, there's a lot of cryptocurrencies. And let's go into this and uh, let's go very... There's a lot of different um, cryptocurrencies. There's over 1,200 of them, by the way. All right. And uh, everybody, of course, knows Bitcoin. Its market cap is $276 billion out of the um, $516 billion market cap. So it's the big boy. It's right now uh, valued at $16,542.30 per. Ethereum is 694. Bitcoin Cash. Now, here's a cool thing. If you own Bitcoin before August 1st of 2017, they had a split. So what happened was Bitcoin uh, had a fork and this Bitcoin Cash generated. So owning this on a paper wallet, not on an exchange, um, what happened was uh, I got free $1,900. Okay, for each Bitcoin I own, I also own a Bitcoin Cash coin, and that's worth 19. So now this price here, 16.5, is out of line. It's more like 18.4 with this added on. And there's a couple other ones too. This Bitcoin Gold was another one that split off. So all these we add up. And that's if I didn't play around with it and I didn't spend it. I had it before um, August 1st. And there's a, there's a couple more splits that are coming up this December uh, in 2017. So this Bitcoin is going to have a whole bunch of these things. Now, they're not always going to be as big as Bitcoin Cash here at $1,900. Uh, they're going to be more like this $300 or $40 or $50 or whatever it is. Um, but anyway, I digress. So Litecoin. Um, they're now at $280, which is uh, down from 315 or whatever it was like a day ago. Um, I'm not worried because every time they go down, uh, it's because people sell off. What happens is they get into Litecoin. Like I bought in Litecoin at like $40. Okay, it jumped up. Now, if I wanted to, I could have taken that um, extra money off the table, uh, all those profits, and thrown them in a, a different coin. But I just like Litecoin. I know it's going to go up. So I don't mind these little dips here, um, even if it's a big dip. I don't mind it because I know uh, next year it's going to be at least double, triple this figure here, which is well beyond my $40 per Litecoin that I bought into it. All right, um, other ones like EOS. EOS has just jumped 34%. All right, um, Populous. This was one of the ones I really like. Um, it's going to make me a lot of money in the future. I bought these when it was um, just a dollar or two. So now look at it. It's $39. So that's a huge um, incentive. Now, you can't print all of these on a paper wallet except if they are on the Bitcoin uh, or the Ethereum network, like Populous. You need Ethereum to buy Populous. It's a, Ethereum is more of a contract where you use a lot, um, a certain number of um, Ether coins. Say you have a, a one Ether coin, and that's worth, um, let's see, right now almost $700. So you wanted to invest in Populous to take that one Ether coin, $700, and you'll get divide it by that much and that's how many populous coins you'll get and it resides on the ether coin um, wallet here and you can cr create a new wallet here um, I don't have it uh, so let's make up nine characters one two three four five six seven eight, whatever it is okay create new wallet okay you would download this you keep that you understand and continue 
he has a print to paper wallet now I'm not doing any of this I'm not going to save this this is your private key that you must 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 save back up have copies put it in different areas and all that and label everything keep meticulous records you can keep it on a spreadsheet you can keep it on a piece of paper you can keep it on your notepad and your phone uh, you can make a voice message to yourself something that someone's not going to find but anyway, um, you go to print your paper wallet, and here's one for Ether. Now, you can only do one at a time for Ether. Again, you have the private key. You've got um, this over here as well. Now, when you went back to um, this site and you signed up, you got your um, private key that you saved. Now, to view that wallet, okay, all you do is you come over here, you view, view it, and you put in private key you tip in your private key and you can unlock it now you can see that there's real there's no nothing on this i have nothing in my account balance the tokens um all these cryptocurrencies here will can be put on your ether wallet so this is a great um wallet and it's myetherwallet.com make sure you look at the top here you have to make sure because there's a lot of um, duplicate sites out there trying to scam people but it has to say my ether wallet llc us and have this https now some people will do a my ether wallet and make one of these l's um a one okay now if you see it in text, if they write it down as a link, you can't tell that that one's a one. Or some people just scan this. They don't even look at this, and they would just go, okay, two L's, my Ether wallet. Yep, I'm here. And that's not a good idea. You have to make sure, double verify, because these, this is your money. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that want it. So uh, anyway, this is how to create um, your, your wallets. This is um, what's going on. Look at all these gains here. You don't get this in a, in a bank. Now, this is only um, today. Now, uh, let's go over to... Um, no, we're not going to go over there. Anyway, uh, this is um, the gains that you have. Yeah, you have people, ones that go up and down. Now, like Bitcoin, it was up to... Um, it, it spiked up to 19000 which is remarkable. But with that, you expect people to take the money off the table or take the bitcoins and start buying all these other ones so these are going to slosh back and forth and it's a good idea that if you have a bitcoin that you buy a couple others for diversification as example here now this bitcoin um, uh, went down a little bit ether shot up okay so um, you can see if I had ripple here which I wouldn't because this was invented by the banks and if I'm trying to get away from the banks with all these others I'm not going to go to ripple but um, Ripple went up 66%. Now, if I had Ripple, my Bitcoin um, dropping down just a little bit would still have gotten me a profit because as the, the big, big boys drop, like Bitcoin, you're going to have all these other um, smaller uh, valued coins shoot up. And that's the value of it. Okay, so um, if Bitcoin went down and my populace went up, for example, or my Zcash went up 20%, Okay, or my EOS, um, which I definitely have, and this is a, this is a great one for people to have. Populous is a great one, um, and also Litecoin is a few more. Omise Go, um, I bought in at a um, dollar something. Um, I don't know what it was. I got it on EtherDelta.com. Salt, Salt um, is going to explode. This is the one I mention to people all the time. Uh, it what it is is it's a lending program so like my lending tree or a bank you want a loan for a car say you have um, say you have like 10 uh, Bitcoin okay so you got about a hundred and sixty thousand dollars and you want to go out and you want to buy a car well you don't want to spend your Bitcoin for two reasons first of all it's it this is going to be double triple quadruple maybe even ten times this by the end of next year so you don't want to spend that on a car you'd end up spending if you spent um, say you spent um, uh, one Bitcoin for a car 16 and it turns out to be hundred and sixty thousand dollars for a Bitcoin next year you just spent a um, hundred sixty thousand on a sixteen dollar car or a sixteen thousand dollar car so you don't want to do that so you go over to salt and you buy their salt tokens and where did salt go here there it is 
you buy the SALT tokens, you take out a loan, you put in a Bitcoin for $16,000, you get the cash back. Um, so it's not a taxable event that you have to pay taxes on. Um, and you, instead of paying the bank, you pay yourself back in your Bitcoin. So your Bitcoin goes nowhere, it's just held in escrow. So as you pay your loan off, you'll get your Bitcoin back at that $16,000 price. Now next year when you're paying it, and you're paying off this $16,000 note and Bitcoin is at $160,000. Well, you could just click a button and you can make sure you can just pay the whole thing off with your Bitcoin if you wanted to. Again, incurring a taxable event. So whether that's wise or not, I don't know. But um, you can keep your Bitcoin and buy your car and not have to worry about the banks saying no, yes, or charging you some stupid amount of interest or making you take out um, a loan for 36 months instead of 32 like you want. There's lots of different rules uh, with, with cars and everything. And Steam it. I'll talk about Steam it one, one time uh, here. No, no, I won't. I'll talk about Veritasium. Veritasium is going to replace the stock exchanges. Uh, right now, the Jamaica Stock Exchange is about to come online. This is going to do 10 to 100 times what that is when that trillion plus, I think it's $2 trillion, maybe up to $5 trillion in the Jamaican Stock Exchange. When that all flows through Veritasium here, Okay, that number is going to be absolutely astronomical. It's going to be in the 20,000. It might even um, be a parity with um, Bitcoin when Bitcoin's 160,000. We don't know. And right after um, the Jamaican, he's all uh, stock exchange. The Veritasium crew is also talking with the top 10 exchange. And many people think it's Germany, uh, the GDX. And if the German exchange, a top 10 exchange comes in there, there's more trillions of dollars. So, again, this market cap here of this, this, this is peanuts, folks. You're going to see this in the trillions one day. And if the market, the equities market, is around $70 trillion, there's a little bit of room for growth. Okay, so even if a trillion dollars comes in and this doubles, okay, and this doubles, $32,000 for a $16,000 investment, or say you buy a Litecoin at $280, okay, and it doubles next year. Are you going to be sad? I don't think so. Anyway, um, that's a way to protect yourself um, with paper wallets, how to make them just a little bit. I would do a little bit more research. I would also do experiments. As example, when I printed this off, um, when I did it the first time for myself, I, I printed a whole sh a bunch of these and I sent a little portion of a, a Litecoin, a little portion of a Bitcoin over to these to see if it worked. And then I verified this when it was all safe and secure, then I would send over more Bitcoin and I did it a couple times like I send um, a dollar worth of Bitcoin over one time and then the next time I send another dollar and then when I was comfortable that it was getting there it was secured then I would send the whole uh, amount say maybe a Bitcoin or a half a Bitcoin or a quarter and I took a couple I made a couple quarters of Bitcoins I made a couple halves I made a couple holes and then I made batch Bitcoins um, also because if I want to give away, say one of my, uh, say the economy croaks or 2008, a, a big financial crisis happens and um, the banks shutter, and I need to get um, some cash to my kids uh, so they could take care of my kids themselves and my my grandkids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a, a, a Bitcoin paper wallet and give them the passphrase to get into this so they can have money instantly without going to a bank. They have a barterable um, instrument there, and I don't have to give them a whole Bitcoin, or I don't have to give them five Bitcoins, or whatever's on a, another mass wallet. So I got them divided into a quarter. Now, a quarter of a Bitcoin, if it's $20,000, that's a $5,000 piece of paper right there. All right. So uh, again, these are just a brilliant idea on how to um, accomplish this. Um, and uh, there's just so many different strategies you can use. Taking the the financial crisis and uh, giving one of these to the kids, I could have a, um, a safe in their home, okay, and put these in in their home, and they would have no access to it. They couldn't get to it um, because it's encrypted. Now, um, all I have to do is if I if the banks go down and the ATMs aren't working and it's a little dicey for driving because there's too much traffic on the roads as people try to jam into the grocery stores to buy all their supplies last minute. 
all I have to do is make a phone call. You could um, give the, um, the safe code to your, your kid, or if it's in there, uh, safe and they know the code already, just give them the encryption note and they got them that quarter of a Bitcoin, that half a Bitcoin, that full Bitcoin, whatever you want to give them instantly. So a remarkable protection uh, device and I know a lot of people are going to laugh about this because I'm supposed to be a karate guy and now I'm talking money and people don't like to talk money. They think it's a taboo subject. I don't think it's taboo subject. I just think it's um, smart planning. Okay, to have these paper wallets, to have this crypto uh, money, uh, because your dollar is, um, it's crap now these days, and it's going down. As an example, you put your money in a bank, and you're going to get um, a percentage of, uh, uh, not even a full percent in some CDs. You'll lock it up for a year, and they give you like 0.5%, or you lock it up for five years, and they give you a full percent. Inflation's 2%, so you're losing money, sticking money in the bank. So where are you going to put it in something like this that's doing 19%, um, 66%? Uh, now, Bitcoin, like I said, uh, it jumped up uh, incredibly. Let's go to Bitcoin for a second. Let's get to the chart. Uh, let's go to Coinbase here for a second. Okay. Let's just jump on over to that. And let's see. Okay, so here we are at Bitcoin. All right, now Bitcoin is $16,000. That's just one day that it's jumping around. It's pretty straight today. One week, we see it's a little better. It had a 3.2% um, gain from last week, up $500. Uh, let's go for a month. Ooh, it went up $10,000 last month, 152%. How about last year, from January to December here? It went up 2,000% gained $15,000 and again this is going to be 10 times this next year uh, when that institutional money comes in so this is what your bank account could look like instead of just flat okay like this or less worse because of inflation going down all right you want your charts to all look like this all right and that's what you can do by using cryptocurrencies in the safe way, the uh, strategic way I think and I like to do um, is the paper wallets. Uh, I have to end with, by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. This is just a strategy that I employ um, uh, for self-protection of my assets and my family's well-being. Thanks for listening in. So that's it, folks. That's how to make a paper wall. Keep your um, your cryptocurrencies safe. Now, um, keep a little on a wallet if you want to spend it. You can do that online. You can do it on a phone. It doesn't take anything but a few clicks of the mouse, and you can send money, uh, especially with Litecoin, very fast um, and very cheaply around the world where um, Western Union would cost you a, a fortune. Banks take three to four days and that costs twenty dollars, thirty dollars, fifty dollars sometimes, depends on how much money you're sending uh, to send it. Uh, the Litecoin um, is very quick, very easy to get um, and it's almost instant. Uh, as it's sent, it's received instantly and then it takes up to about maybe five or ten minutes before it um, gets verified on the blockchain. So um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to protect the people that are interested in Qshow. Uh, we're, we've been working hard and putting up with a lot of grief from people um, doing the Qshow and trying to show the world there is a better way there. Well, Qshow isn't just protection of self, it's protection of finances, a protection of your health. Now this financial protection that we're working on uh, here is uh, do twofold. Um, I want uh, the people that are involved with the Qshow, especially Qshow International, to be safe with their um, funds and um, I'm also offering to um, do everything uh, from seminars to selling products on the website in uh, cryptocurrencies. So it's a fast, easy way to pay. It's uh, out of the traditional banks that um, you can have some problems with at times, uh, whether they don't want you to send too much money or there's a restriction on them, or there's a bank closure. I was in Italy one time doing a vacation and the ATMs uh, would close down for quite a while while I was there. So um, it's just further protection. Now, 
it's getting to the point where people are using cryptocurrencies more and more rather than cash. And uh, right now, Starbucks uses it. You can get anything from Amazon.com, uh, for example, for 10 to 20% discount if you use uh, Bitcoin through um, another website called Purse.io. But eventually, uh, in 2018, um, Amazon will be accepting uh, uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, as will other businesses. Uh, Fidelity um, right now is the second biggest biggest um, uh, mutual fund and stock uh, brokerage house and it's accepting and its employees are even using um, the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies as well at their cafeteria and um, there are some companies that do it in payments overstock.com takes Bitcoin um, and they're coming on the bandwagon uh, pretty soon you'll see McDonald's and all the rest in 2018 there's going to be a huge wall of money coming at the cryptocurrencies um, Wall Street is legally allowed to now um, get involved in 2018 as our hedge funds and institutional money so this 500 uh, billion dollar market cap or half a trillion uh, market cap is easily going to explode to past a trillion dollars now this year we had um, 10 times earnings at minimum um, I, I invested 4% um, of my liquid assets into cryptocurrencies and uh, right now uh, that 4% that I put in, when I put it in, is now well over 100% uh, in value. So um, I, I just that I took 4% of my uh, liquid assets, and now it's over 100% of what my liquid assets are. So um, it's crazy what's going on, but 2018 is going to be huge as people, more and more people, um, hear about it on the mainstream media which just started when they see the um, the big banks going into it and the mutual funds and as these countries um, uh, deteriorate their currencies more and more so uh, we want you safe here at QShow.com I want to make sure that you um, safeguard your family first um, and also that we can keep um, business going as usual so we can still train the uh, the Q show um, around the world and gain from it not only in health benefits, uh, self protection benefits, and now financial benefits. Thanks for watching.